Hi fellas. In the course of my research about these grooming gangs and these Islamist crimes in Britain, I've come across this case. First case I've ever come across. This is an Asian girl, one of those Islamic girls, the M people, and she has been the victim of rape by at least 30 members of her own community. I mean, there's no doubt about it, but the vast majority of, of these grooming, grooming gang victims, child rape and violence victims, are white girls with a few Sikh girls. This just, just goes to show how deeply ingrained this paedophilia and this sex slavery, sex slavery is in this ideology. I mean, it's been going on for 1,450 years. The 7th century Mo, who started it all, he liked youngsters. It's in their books, it's in their... H's and their Q, if you know what I'm talking about. It's all the way through it. He was allowed to do anything. He was a god on earth. He had the power of life or death over millions of people, a few million people. And with him, with old monster Mo, it was nearly always death. Death or rape. Yeah, these are some of the characters that did it. Some of the low lowlifes. I mean, this poor Asian girl. I mean, I can imagine if an Asian girl's been gone through this, she will be in a far worse position than a white girl because a white girl she will be seen as mainly a victim where under this ideology even a rape victim a pure victim is seen as being oh you whore you used now you know you're easy meats you've been used and i can imagine she'll be either blackballed or cast out of a community entirely and you know let she'll be disowned by her own parents this is the sort of thing they do through being a victim Reading between the lines, this girl must have been untypical. Usually they keep them indoors and we don't let them out after six o'clock. Completely subjugated. They generally mutilate them on the seven or eight. Yep, even in the USA and Canada, they hold them down with razor blades and they cut out the tickly bit. And sometimes they even cut the lips off as well. This is what they do. This is how savage, what savages they really are, to be quite honest. Here we are. It was in, this was in Birmingham, which if you've been to Birmingham, <laughs> you'll know it's 45% non-white. I'll put it that way. I'll be careful. Um, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be another London. It's going to be lost. Um, obviously, some some of those are good Christian people from ethnic mixes. I'm not saying they're not. But a hell of a lot of them are these, this gang. This gang of savages from the, well, who follow a savage from the 7th century. Yeah, I'll put a link underneath. It's, it's a very sad case. It's just to show that I'm not doing this because, like, I hate their colour. This girl was one of them. Poor girl. And there's, there's, this girl was actually raped in a car. Once they got into her, they were quickly texting the mates so all the mates could come round, including a father and a son. Rapes her, which I think are these two. And it was father and son both raped the same girl. I mean, God, so unhygienic, aren't they? Would you would you really fancy it? After like twenty men had been into this poor poor victim, poor screaming victim, reading between the lines as well, it was probably like they probably held her down and raped every orifice. Is normally what they do. A bit disgusting, isn't it? The sort of things you'd you'd pay a, a top class pro to do. They want these girls to do for nothing. And you know, they're usually naive virgin girls. Here we are. Widespread gang members. Renito Balog and Zidino Murga were jailed in the same week as a, ca as a campaign that highlighted shocking scale of abuse of children if in ethnic communities across Britain. So, you know, it, it's, it's going on. It's going on all the time. It's not only our white girls. Or it's, it is mainly them because they're viewed as whores, prostitutes. Um, it's also some Sikh girls. It's been documented. But they dupe Sikh girls into trusting them. And, you know... <sighs> Become father figures, and well, there's girls even left to go and live in America, been sent to America because you know it's seen as being a shameful thing. But you shouldn't be really. I mean, these shouldn't these girls be living in the West? Shouldn't these girls be allowed to go out and talk to people and have a bit of freedom and and dress a bit, you know, a bit nicer than we do in shitty Stan, Afghanistan, or whatever? And as long as they're not too provocative, as long as the the dignified, you know, I don't, I don't see the, I don't understand the mindset. The Sharia mindset is set right back in like fourth, fifth century. It really is. And this is what they want for the USA and for us. You know, no music, 
kill all the gays, mutilate all the little girls' genitals, um, you know, probably all the white people will probably be put into death camps, like the Holocaust, but big, much bigger, because we did do this in Turkey. They did commit genocide on 1.5 million. Dirty Christians, dirty Kufar. That's what he calls us, dirty Kufar. They're like animals. They're like scum. They're like spiders. They're nothing. They're not even human. This is how it calls us in the mosques. So I'll put a link underneath. Very sad for this poor girl. Oh dear. Here we are. Here we go. The attack went over six hours. She was kept in a car while they were texting people to come around and rape this poor girl. And I'm not, you can read yourself. I think she was about 14 or something, but it has happened from 12 year olds. Imagine doing this to a poor little 12 year old or 15 year old, especially an innocent girl. I don't think they'd ever get over it, would they? You know, psychologically, would you ever get over this and actually, you know, happily go to bed with, it, with your partner and, and try and try and be, you know try and make it fun for him in a relationship i can't see you would ever get over it i hope you do yeah so it's not just the white girls it is also going on within their community be even their girls which is girls and women who are seen as being very honorable and dignified and you know should be shown lots of respect when they get the chance 30 or 40 of them will dive on her in succession as they did with this poor kid I'll put a link underneath. Ironically, this is in the Daily Mail online, the same paper, which is, which despite showing these good reports, good honest reports, then turns around and calls Tommy Robinson and Britain First, the two main gangs that are trying to expose this ongoing mass rape, then start calling them racist and fascist. How ridiculous is that? It's in the Mail online, the same paper that that James Fielding is from. I'll put a link underneath, guys. Share this or save it if you can, because we don't usually stay on too long, if you know what I mean. Telling the truth is quite revolutionary in times of deceit, as they said in 1984. See you guys.